my name is Michael de Miranda, and this video is about Mosidaji Independenti de Padre Miguel. Uh, this is a famous school, of course, in Rio, and I don't think they need any uh, introduction because everybody knows them. Um, the thing about Mosidaji, you can recognize Mosidaji by the pattern that is played on the Kaisha. They play a pattern which have the, accent, the same accents if you play bossa nova or some samba reggae. The accents are like this, are one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, three, and four, one, two, and three, four, one, two, like this, the bossa nova clave actually. If you play this on the kaisha in a slow tempo, it sounds like this, one, two, three, four, And there are not many schools that use this pattern. Of course, they play it faster, so it's more like this. Like this. This is the pattern from Mas Mosidaji. Let's go to the way they play the surdos. The first surdo is playing on the two. The first, one, uh, first beat is closed and the second is open. So it's just like this. One, two, one. That's the first uh, pseudo, the traditional way. Uh, the second pseudo is just the other way around. It's playing on the one. So it's like this. One, two, three, four, one. Yeah? That's uh, and they are normally tuned. So the first pseudo is tuned lower than the second pseudo. The third pseudo is playing this pattern. The first is closed on the second beat, two strokes, one, two, and then the third stroke is closed again, and on the fourth beat is this. So you have one. Nowadays, this pattern is uh, very common. A lot of schools are using this pattern. But uh, Mosidaji was the first samba school that started with this pattern. And other schools, they liked it, obviously. And they uh, were starting to use this too. Okay, these were the pseudos. Let's go to the Ripinik. Like most schools, the Mosidaji is also playing this pattern on the Ripinik. Just like this, of course, faster. But this is the pattern they use when they play their batucada rhythm. Let's go to the tamburim. Mosidaji is also playing this swirl thing as basic rhythm, like this. Of course, Mosidaji is making beautiful tambourine arrangements, and they are also very famous. But this is the basic pattern for tambourine. I have also, of course, uh, videos in which I explain in a slow tempo how this swirl is made. I will put a link in the description so you can watch this if you want to learn how to do this. Yes? Okay, let's go to the shukalyu. The shukalyu is, of course, also making the basic samba rhythm like this. like the other samba schools. Um, actually, most of the other patterns are the same as other schools are using. Um, let's put all the patterns together so you can hear how this samba of Mosidaji sounds. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, I hope you like uh, this lesson about uh, Mosidaji. You can, of course, find a lot of videos from uh, this famous school on YouTube. And if you watch it, you will hear the patterns that I've shown you. Okay, good luck with it and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.